Hello and welcome to uh, Game of Noskov. Uh, this is a recording, a uh, Noscam recording, so it's automatically recorded the whole game. And I'm going to commentate after the fact and try and remember what happened and stuff. So I'm playing Summoner, uh, which is basically the only vampire class I play. Uh, I just don't really like any of the other ones much, and as soon as I unlock Summoner, I just carry on playing Summoner and haven't looked back. Not sufficiently few people play Summoner, but I'm usually only Summoner on the team. And so we can get a good team composition together. At the moment, I'm just waiting for the humans to be discovered. Um, as some of you are a bit squishy and you can't really deal with running into a lot of humans. It's the worst thing as a vampire where you're just running around randomly and then you just bump into a bunch of humans unprepared and you get screwed over. Up to this point, I discovered them. Just try to tag them with. Uh, I can't put that thing called. But yeah, just kind of. Get them tagged so my employees know where they are. Far off my other power. I think here I'm hoping that I'll be able to just do a bit of meleeing, but then I end up not really getting into a situation where I can do that. But my opponent, my allies are mopping up quite nicely. But I think there is still someone in there, I might be wrong, who has just run away. give themselves away there. Use my shield to get close, so. Because they both know I'm around. This alchemist is stupidly running off me. Oh crap. Yeah, it's. The trouble is, you expect human speed to go around when they're not. It's really annoying and really surprising. I'm hoping he's an idiot, isn't it? Nope, he didn't. They get distracted by someone else. You can split the party though, pretty good. Now that's great because he stuck himself right in the corner there. It still didn't do a lot of damage to him, but um, it did like completely unbalance him. He was obviously aiming up some good shots against my eyes potentially. And here this guy is. Stealth. There. And now I believe I die here. Yeah. So close and he just gets finished off from my colleague. He fired off like knives or something like that because I was, oh, felt like I could take that fight, and then suddenly I was down a lot of health. Um, scouts typically aren't good at close range. I thought one I could never get the knives to hit, but I guess he did. But I'm back in the game, it's cool. I think I'm 1 1 kill death ratio. Again, just try to tag them um, so all my, all my allies know where they are. I feel like I want to defend this guy here. Help him get in there and then mercy the fire. Obviously avoid that. The other summoner is already on the same menu. He got down and above for some reason. I don't know if he's trying to do here. Because he's not on the highest health. I know he's gonna probably try and go for that. I didn't actually he actually saw him stealthed. Just there, you could have seen him, but I, I didn't see him when I was playing. Camouflage is actually really powerful when you use it right. Scout over there. Watch out here. Oh, and then, yeah, almost getting rained on by his arrows. Not good, I'm out in the open at the moment. Um, and that's not good. But I see an opportunity here where I can just drop down from behind them. See now I'm standing here and I'm distracting him because he knows I'm up here. But I can still view him. Oh, uh, it's a new launch of third person camera. You've really got to take a launch of that third person camera in this game. It's really, really helpful, especially as a vampire, to see them but they not see you. I, like, I love this place. This, one, this is uh, the Fane. Uh, this place is it's quite an extensive area of the map, so only accessible by vampires. I don't think there's even a rope up here. Yeah, it's probably one of my, actually my favourite map to play on as vampires. Again, kind of flanking them coming from behind them. So I like the way the, this game allows you to see where people are and things like that. You know, it allows you to real strategize and it wasn't super long health, but that was helpful still. Bring back to full. If I'm on full health and I come across a body, I'll usually just move it somewhere out the way more. And if I see a uh, ally on low health, I'll try and bring it towards them or something like that. But we can't waste too much time doing that. Yeah, 
I guess I've seen him. Ooh, got a bomb stuff. Shield's good. I like it more than the kind of evasion abilities and whatnot of um, Tyrant and Reaver. Um, you can use it to defend your teammates, which is really handy, especially if like, uh, someone's feeding on a body, you can defend them. But it does have its disadvantages. It's still not very good against explosives. Uh, they all just stick to the shield and then still blow up and hurt you. Especially the, um, the sticky grenades of the Alchemist, uh, I think, still pretty much damage you through it. Though they won't stick direct to you, they don't do quite as much damage, but uh, still pretty painful. That's great, I saw him there doing nothing really. Um, again, stuck in a corner. So I thought, hey, I'll just come down right on top of him. Still doesn't really see me. I think I'd take a little bit of damage because I was a bit cautious waiting for my uh, blood to recharge a bit. Yeah, that was all a bit weird, I think. Might have lagged a little bit there. Or they did. So this game's going quite slow. We haven't got a lot of kills, but we're not really dying much. So we're ahead, but not like, we're not crushing them. Uh, Generally, not not many deaths are happening. In here, I'm kind of just waiting to find out where they are and also to recharge my skills a bit. I'm using the improved regen perk because I find it really useful for my playstyle, where I will kind of do hit and run. Uh, but it doesn't mean, of course, that I don't have the reduction in. Well, how does this fight go? Uh, Unfortunately, the um, one of the items I'm using, the downside that it reduces my resistance to big damage, I can't what it's called now, a uh, stopping power. So I do get knocked down a bit easier, uh, which doesn't come up much, and the upside's worth it, but when it does come up, it kind of sucks. Uh, so it's got immediately knocked down there and just couldn't do anything about it. I think that scout on their team is really good. They've got one really lame scout and one really good scout. I really like the shield. It's just like, nope. <laughs> also, it's uh, also really powerful about it is it's a hold down ability, and if you only hold it down for a short amount of time, it recharges a lot quicker. So, there I didn't need it for very long, and so it will be available again very, very soon. I'll use it here again, yep. So, it's cool down. Yeah, I think. Ooh, that was nasty. I kind of forgot about the hole in the wall there that they could see through it. So I thought, yeah, dodging, dodging inside the building, I'd be safe, but I really was not. Took more damage there. I think still I'm about even Stevens on my uh, kill to death ratio. I don't know why that happened there. It's a pretty cool map actually. A lot of details been put into this. Oh, this guy's completely blind for me, you see. So I try and I take advantage of that back there. I take a lot of damage from this exploded blast then. But I still think I can take him, but then that scout comes from nowhere. <laughs> see, I haven't been getting many kills on this game, but I've been getting plenty of assists and not dying a hell of a lot. Um, I think one of the least dying people on my team. Yeah, this, for some reason, the thing about this game is it doesn't seem to um, praise not dying so much. Um, you'll have people who, who are the you know, top person on the team and they've died twice as much as they've killed. Um, I've brought when I'm, when I'm like fourth and I've got no deaths at all. Um, it's King Deathmatch, the important thing is not to die and to get kills. You're doing a team a favour if you're just not dying at all. It's really helpful. And that's it's around. I can't remember what class I play. This is the, um, that's a Gilded Corpse skin, which I bought recently. The actual default, um, 
this game for the summer is actually pretty, pretty decent. Oh, yeah, it used to be there. They have, uh, when I uh, first bought Summoner, it's the, the Summoner armor was the default skin, which looks perfectly fine. I think they realized that it looked perfectly fine now, and the default is now a much worse looking armor. So we're going to respawn soon as a human, yep. And Alchemist, which is my kind of main human class. I usually leave it to the last minute to choose my class. Um, so that if someone else goes Alchemist, I won't go Alchemist. But here I was able to, which is good. Uh, I use Healing Mist as my second three, and I kick stick to um, Blinding Light Vial as my primary versions. Uh, so, I think about Healing Mist is really good, but you go with a good team. And I think it does okay here, but it's not amazing. I don't tend to miss the Firewall, I've got really used to just using Healing Mist all the time. I did try the um, acid spewing thing as well for a bit, but I don't, I don't understand. I hate what? I think that was glitch. I didn't yet remember seeing that in the game. <laughs> I'll just tend to run into this because I won't take any damage from it. And vampires not exactly going to melee you while you're in there. Really hate toxic swamp stuff. jumping down right in the middle of everyone and then getting killed quite quickly as a result. So there's some that was decent and uh actually, ah, actually what's this? It's hard to tell the police about the scene interface, but I think the deceiver they have was really quite good. And he'd use it subtly, I think right here, he actually maybe walked somewhere I didn't want to go. So if you see me doing something a bit weird, that might be because I've been being controlled by the deceiver. It's a bit of a weird power that, like it, um, if you're not very good with it, it's terrible, because you're standing there completely useless, but if your team's good, it's really simple as well, and you can kind of move someone into a... Oh, this is funny, drop me off, drop me off into the vampire area. This is, this is as I said, this is usually inaccessible humans, which is quite funny. I guess I could have got down, but I was quite low on health. Um, I probably would have died if I'd, especially now, if I'm trying to fall down safely, I would not succeed. The disadvantage, of course, is that my body's quite available to me, but thankfully I do fall off the edge. Um, I think they still managed to, yeah, she still managed to eat me. Oh no, no. So that's quite good, actually. If I died up there, they would have got three corpse. I choose to redo all my team at this point, because right, I think they're still doing, still doing the area quite well. They still are by the time I get there though. I thought someone was behind me, so <laughs> turned around ready to blast them. Yeah, I see doing this, doing this yeah okay, I forgot <laughs> at that point I think I forgot I was a vampire. Yeah, I don't know what I'm running away at this point. Because of that's a Massive mix of EO uh, area effects. Yeah. No, I don't have the full damage. But yeah, I'm miles away from my team at this point. Um, so unfortunately, I get a free corpse out there. But hey, a sentinel dragged me there, so not exactly my fault. <laughs> No, I'm not out on the team now. I think I consider changing class. But I keep forgetting to do it. They're using the default one though. I, I do much must be prefer the sticky launcher. Um it's, you know, because they just go where you want them to go. There's no rolling around or rolling past someone. If you miss someone, they'll end up with a uh, grenade on the floor next to them, which 
is much further than grade. A bit past the point where I can do a bit more damage there. I keep forgetting, there's a reason I play that that means I can get hurt by my own grenades. My priority there was just to try and use my healing body to make teammates also run into it if I could survive. Uh, and it's a bit of putting too much damage. And we're wiped. Uh, maybe we weren't quite wiped. Sounds like someone's still fucking on. Again, I forget to change class. So. Got him rushing in to try and cover. I waste my time already. Right, right, right. Sentinel. I'm getting behind that section though. It's a room cracking in space. This is good. Because they're in a contained space. <laughs> and usually in humans you want to be in a nice open area where you can actually use a range of your advantage. But uh, there that was just really powerful. Because, uh, put other grenades down they can't avoid them. Again, uh, the team is really better there because they stay where I want them to stay rather than rolling off. So yeah, I'm clo using it close range. No, I keep forgetting that I can just use those at close range. I'm so used to trying to avoid damage myself. See, a firewall that's not yours, run for it. <laughs> Because you sure as well, well whenever there's a vampire in your tail. This is the chemical harness skin, which I really like. No armor skin's not bad, but this is a nice one. Muppet. <laughs> a sentinel flying with an enemy, and you run after it and be where it drops the person so you can finish them off. That's really what you can clip through the ground. Camera. <laughs> the file was useful, but it's quite like in certain situations, it's a hit or miss thing where it'll work really well sometimes. Sometimes it'll just suck, I got a kill there. Sometimes it'll just suck, you know, they just go around, but like, you can't control where it, the direction it points in that easily. So I'm not sure about healing miss, which always does something good. Like, if you or an ally is just not on full health, you know, it'll always just heal you. Sometimes, sometimes the vampires will counter it with, like, by sticking around. I think those are actually still there. Bit of a grapple glitch again. Uh, some of the vampires counter it by putting like a toxic mist where your healing mist is, and therefore you know, basically if you go in there you'll heal as much as you get damaged. So it makes it useless. So see, see right here, there's a healing mist there, there's also a toxic mist there. I wish it would just kind of counter each other or something to make it a bit more obvious. Because it's always obvious where the one stops and one begins. Oh, crap. Oh, yes, Gil does, right. Shaking slightly. Ah, oh, okay, so yeah, I won't scout, because uh, there's a thing that's not quite for what at the end. And I'm using the um, arrow trap. Like a turret, turret. I think I did alright, there's a scout here. Sit back, fire some shots and stuff. I've got the uh, mark ability, which I think I use very soon. Here you go. Let's see how long it lasts for. 
I think it's eight. Oh, it's a bit, bit late though. Cool, so that's a game of Noskov. Thank you for watching.